Hello. My name is Russell. I am 57 years old. I've lived here since January 2019. I first met Russell when I was working at class as an intern for my thesis project. Um, I decided to do my master's thesis around um, providing case management services to individuals who are deaf in um, American Sign Language. So I started working with him and his family. His main goal was to get into a residential program. So I worked with him and his mom to figure out what their options were and kind of decide where they wanted to go from there. A counselor found this placement. They made the call to see if it would work out. And I visited. I checked it out. And I really liked it here. I met Russell. He came in January. His mother and uh, they come out to see the house and they fell in love with it right away. Russell moved in. He was very excited. He blended in pretty good. His roommates, he lives with two other and um, they came and they all enjoyed each other's company. I have two roommates that live here with me. We go out bowling to the movies, Kennywood, Pirates baseball games. We also go to the mall and out to eat at restaurants. My name is Angelica Sanchez. I do community living and support. Christina Chamberlain, who runs our Tech L office, was familiar with Angelica, and Angelica was looking for a job. At that point, Russell had just moved in, so we started to look at the possibility of her working with Russell at the house. Christina and I reached out to Angelica to kind of talk to her about this idea, um, and she was really excited and willing to give this a shot. She does not live very close to the residential site, but was really willing to go pretty far in order to get there and be able to work with Russell. I care for people who can't walk or can't do things on their own. I assist them with cooking, cleaning, getting dressed, and going out in the community. A deaf woman works here. She helps me with cleaning. She also helps me with tasks like making my lunch. They also help me with my medication. When I first met with Russell and his mom, one of their biggest concerns was getting him transitioned and finding an environment that was safe and felt like a home and gave her some uh, peace of mind just knowing that Russell like had a safe place to be and had his own house that he could go to. So I think this transition has really been able to do that for Russell and his family. Russell gets dressed himself, but... One problem is he can't put on his shoes. So I help him with that. He brushes his teeth, gets his own bath, brushes his hair, gets up, and walks to the table himself. We communicate all the time. Communication is very important. I am teaching sign language to Sandy, who is learning a little bit. If there's something Russell's trying to tell me um, and I don't quite understand it, Angelica will kind of shed light on what he's trying to tell me. They've both been teaching us how to do sign language, so it's pretty much we help each other out. They help us, you know, 
learn to communicate with him much better. He seems happy and is doing good now. Pretty quiet sometimes. If he doesn't want to do anything, I let him sleep. But he has been pretty successful. Why do I like it here? Because I like my independence. He's come a long way from what I've heard, um, you know, from his past experiences. My goal for this year is more independence. These transitions can be really hard transitioning from the family's home to residential living, but a great example of how it can be really successful as well. 